Yes, good morning. I'm at Weta Workshop this morning. And, I mean, it has to be said that the lightness jack is uncanny. But um, anyway, I'll tell you why I'm here a little bit later on. But first of all, let's check out what is happening around the country with your weather. We have had this cold front uh, moving up the country and then this low pressure system is heading in uh, towards the North Island's west coast, which will mean over the next couple of days and heading into the weekend, there is a little bit of rain around the country. So let's get a closer look for today, though, heading to the regions. Mainly so yes, we're at uh, Weta Workshop in Wellington this morning, just outside their, uh, their cave, and we're going to be heading inside a little bit later on because, I don't know if you remember, but Scarlett Johansson was in town last year filming uh, this amazing movie called Ghost in the Shell, uh, and it's premiering, pre premiering very shortly, and so we are going to be previewing that a little bit later on, including... A wee chat with uh, Sir Richard Taylor, who's going to be unveiling a little bit of a set piece that's going to be um, hanging out around for visitors to come and check out. Oh, here that in is Wellington. very yeah. cool. Look forward to that. Thank you so much, Maddie. Hey, we're going to keep you up to speed with the uh, situation in the UK. We've just got a statement through. Yeah, it shouldn't be a bad day, although uh, we're actually inside this morning. We're inside the Weta Workshop Cave uh, because Ghost in the Shell is this epic movie that was filmed here in Wellington last year and is premiering next week. So we're getting a bit of a behind-the-scenes look at, at the movie this morning and what went into making it as well with some of the key people behind it. So we've got more on that shortly, but first of all, let's check out what is happening around the country with your weather. There is going to be a little bit of rain heading for the next couple of days with this cold front shifting up the country, making, uh, making a home over the North Island at the moment and this low pressure system heading in from the east of the country so sitting around the west coast of the North Island at the moment so rain is heading over the next couple of days but let's check out what is happening uh, today so yes Ghost in the Shell this amazing movie star starring Scarlett Johansson uh, premieres next week Thursday I think it is in New Zealand uh, and so we thought we'd take a bit of a behind the scenes look so this is Larry who's one of the concept designers on the film morning Larry hiya hey, tell hey. us uh, what it is that a concept designer, especially with, in regards to this kind of movie, has to do? Sure, you're sort of pre-visualizing the film for the directors and producers of the film so that uh, basically you uh, visualize the world so that when they actually go to build the, build the world, uh, they know what they're spending their money on. So, yeah. So the whole concept behind this film is a, a cyborg. You'll explain it much better than I sure, am in sure, terms sure. of what it is that you had to kind of come up with for Scarlett Johansson's character. Yeah, well, it's based on Ghost in the Shell, which has been around since the late 80s. It was made by a guy named Shirao Masamuni. And, uh, and it was a manga, so that's a, that's a comic book, basically. And then it got made into a movie in 1995. And then it's... Uh, been pretty influential over the years as a sci-fi idea. It's been across tons of different movies just in terms of the ideas that were in, inside it. But in this, basically what it is, is Ghost in the Shell is uh, she is a woman that's lost her identity. Her mind or her brain has been put into a cybernetic body and, uh, and she's basically searching for like who she is. And so you had to come up with all the shelling and the and the, the body basically for Scarlett Johansson's mind. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So it's just making uh, making that just look really exciting and and just really awesome. Like because it would be a crazy technological achievement. So yeah, that's what we brought to bear on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's really it looks epic. This movie, like amazing visual effects and concept designs and things like that. And we're going to be um, getting a little bit of a sneak peek at an amazing piece set piece from the movie a little bit later on. That unveiling it for us on Brick a little bit later on this morning. Thank you so much, Maddie. If you've just joined us, you'll be... Yes, good morning. We're in the cave at Weta Workshop this morning in Wellington talking ghost in the shell. This is uh, one of the ghosts in her shell. This is Scarlett Johansson's character. Uh, and we're getting a little bit of a preview throughout the morning. More on that shortly, but first of all, let's get straight into your weather and see what is happening. There will be a little bit of rain over the next couple of days with this cold front shifting up the country and a low pressure system moving in uh, to the west coast of the North Island as well. A little bit of fine weather, though, today before we get that rain hitting in the next couple of days. So let's see what we are dealing with today heading to the regions. I was just thinking to myself how cool it would be to have, uh, to have one of these uh, little guys made up of you. This is Scarlett Johansson's character. But this is what, one that I really wanted to show you because a little bit later on with Richard Taylor, just after 7.30, we're going to be unveiling a massive uh, structure of this concept, this geisha, uh, which is going to be permanently based here at Weta Workshop for visitors to come and check out. It's going to be very cool unveiling. It sounds it. Thank you so much, Maddie. Brody Kane is in Cambridge. 
Well, there actually is going to be a little bit of rain heading for the country over the next couple of days, with the low pressure system is moving in towards the uh, North Island's west coast. But for today, at least, there is a little bit of fine weather in the mix as well until we get that rain coming in. So let's check out what is happening around the country with our weather today. Mainly fine in Southland and Otago today. Just some morning cloud to start with. Invercargill can expect that cloud to roll back. So we're in Wellington this morning at Weta Workshop talking Ghosts in the Shell, this incredible movie that's premiering next week. And a lot of it was um, f filmed here in Wellington and the d a lot of the design happened here as well. And we want to uh, unveil to you something this morning because a major set piece from the film is here in Wellington now and it's going to remain here for our visitors to come and check out. And for more on what this is, Good we've got Richard you. Taylor here from Weta Workshop. Good morning, Richard. Fabulous to have you yeah, here. Thank Thanks you. for your interest. No, I appreciate it. So you came up with a lot of the concepts for this film. Talk us through some of the designs that you guys put in place, including what we've got here. Well, this is a combination tribute to the costuming department run by Kurt and Bart out of the US and the amazing New Zealand costumers and some stuff that we did. And in fact, I think she may open up for us. This is actually an animatronic so geisha. Cool. In the original world, these characters come to life in a cyberdized sort of way, and we decided to use 17th century automata as our internal driver mechanisms. Amazing. And so w talk us through some of the other projects that you guys worked on for this film and some of the things well, you Well, we looked after some of the conceptual design, uh, building some of the props, uh, specialty pieces for the costuming, but also the the character designs, the uh, the shelling sequence for Major, her thermoptic suits are getting to uh, to look after what Scarlet wore for some of the movie. Really exciting stuff, but all part of a greater team here on the Wellington Peninsula. I mean, it is an, an epic film that you guys have worked on here, isn't it? This is an epic film. This is a very cherished piece of uh, historical manga, and to have it come down to New Zealand and be made in Wellington at the Stone Street Studios is an extraordinary treat for all of the New Zealand and Wellington film industry. I mean, the stuff these guys have worked on is amazing, and the film premieres next week in New New Zealand and you can go check out some of these incredible designs that we're a workshop and put together. It's going to be phenomenal. Thank you so much, Maddie, and Sir Richard Taylor. Brody Kane is in Cambridge. Yes, good morning. We are at Weta Workshop in Wellington this morning. It's just incredible the stuff these guys put together. This is one of the set pieces for the film Ghost in the Shell, which premieres next week, and it's, we're getting a bit of a behind-the-scenes look uh, at the film this morning. We're going to have a little bit of a chat more about that shortly, but first of all, let's crack into your weather and see what is happening. There will be a little bit of rain coming over the next couple of days with this low-pressure system moving into the west coast of the North Island, but for today at least, there is still some fine weather in the mix until that rain hits. Let's check out what is happening around the country today. Yes, Ghost in the Shell was filmed here in Wellington and a lot of the design and concept work was done here as well. This is Dave Gibson from the New Zealand Film Commission. Morning, Dave. Morning. Uh, what does it take to kind of bring a film like this to New Zealand? Is it easy work now? Or are you having to beat them off with a stick or do you still have to kind of fight to get them here? Yeah, look, it's somewhere in the middle. Um, one, of the, one of the interesting things is that traditionally you'd always think of New Zealand attracting people because it's got that, you know, lovely scenery and in the green grass and the mountains and things. This is kind of a very interesting change because it's a very urban contemporary film. So what you've got now is, is, is people making Wellington look a bit more like Hong Kong and, and you've got big infrastructure and studio facilities and things that are part of it. And then you've got a, a, obviously a little bit of help from the government, which is a, a key part to attract these films. So we get, we're seeing a bit of a shift from, away from those um, traditional uh, outdoor films. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's been an epic production. And so what does it mean for the, uh, for the industry? Oh, this is great. This is one of, if we get two or three of these big tent pole type films in, it really also supports the local industry. So you're getting a lot of people employed, you know, good wages, uh, a lot of people reinvesting in their businesses and, and sort of, and so it helps all the other films like Hunt for the Wilder People and those kind of films as well. Yeah, and it's, uh, it is, we've seen some behind the scenes stuff this morning. It is going to be an epic film and it premieres here next Thursday in New Zealand. So you should definitely go check out Ghost in the Shell. Wonderful awesome. stuff. Thank you so much, Maddie. Brody Kane is in Cam. Yes, good morning. We are at Weta Workshop in Wellington this morning, getting a bit of a behind-the-scenes look at the new film Ghost in the Shell, starring Scarlett Johansson, which was shot here in Wellington, and a lot of the design and concept work was done here as well, and it premieres next week. So we're taking a bit of a look at that, uh, which we'll get into shortly, but first of all, let's see what is happening around the country with your weather. We'll head straight to the regions um, to get a look. look 
So yes, a massive production, this Ghost in the Shell, filmed here in Wellington and premiering next week. Um, and we wanted to talk a little bit more about what goes into uh, making this happen in a place like Wellington. Good morning, David. How are you? I'm great, thanks. So tell us about what it, what it takes to kind of get this to, to work here. It is a massive undertaking because they turned Wellington basically into Hong Kong, downtown Hong Kong, didn't they? That's right. Who would have thought? Um, so it's a, it's a collective effort from the screen industry, from the local council, Wellington City Council, Council, and from our organisation, the Regional Development Agency, who runs Screen Wellington, to make that work and get the community involved. So we closed down two, two blocks of, of Victoria Street in urban Wellington and, and, you know, it turned it into something with futuristic Hong Kong, which is brilliant. It looks amazing. If you've seen the trailer or any of the behind-the-scenes clips, it's incredible what they managed to do to turn Wellington into Hong That's Kong. Right, yeah. And a lot of people involved in the production of this as well, right? Yeah, I mean, in terms of the economic benefit of this, there was over 800 people employed in, in the film. Um, many of those, over 90% of those were Kiwis and locals. Um, the economic value of that to the economy is 85 million New Zealand dollars, wow. which is, is incredible. So the economic benefit of, of attracting films like this to screen-friendly Wellington is, is fantastic. And so hoping to kind of attract more of these big films to, to New Zealand and to Wellington especially then? Absolutely. So the Screen Wellington are really active in, in attracting new films with, with the likes of Weta um, here in, in Wellington to, to get more of that happening and more urban... Um, urban landscapes because obviously New Wellington and New Zealand's known for its its gorgeous scenery mm -hmm. but this is where we're really going to turn the corner and, and, and create urban form and gritty landscapes. Awesome. So Ghost of the Shell, like I said, premieres next Thursday here in New Zealand. Uh, and I do know that Rebecca Wright, our, our US correspondent, is going to be interviewing Scarlett Johansson on the red carpet about the film. And we should see that next week on Breakfast as well. So it's oh. an epic film uh, and really cool to get a bit of a, a behind-the-scenes look. That is very exciting. Thank you so much, Maddie.